So, iPhone is like having your life in your pocket. It's the ultimate digital device. So what should we price it at? <laughs> well, what do these things normally cost? An iPod, the most popular iPod, $199 for 4 gig nano. What's a smartphone cost? Well, they, they say you get the phone and some of the internet with it, although that's questionable. But they cost somewhere between around $299. You can get them for $199. Palm just introduced a new one at $399 yesterday. So generally average about $299 with a two-year contract. Now, these phones sort of do music, but nobody uses them for music because they're not very good. And so they end up buying an iPod to go with the phone. We know. We sell the iPod. And so people spend $499 on this combination. What should we charge for iPhone? Because iPhone's got a lot more than this stuff, right? It's got video, real video. It's got this beautiful, gorgeous widescreen. It's got multi-touch user interface. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got a real browser. It's got HTML email. It's got cover flow and on and on and on. And this stuff would normally cost hundreds of dollars. So how much more than $499 should we price iPhone? Well, we thought long and hard about it, because iPhone just does so much stuff. So much better experience on a call and managing your contacts and visual voicemail, random access voicemail for the first time, and texting and email and real browser and Google Maps and <laughs> tremendous iPod and cover flow and video. And what should we price this thing at? Well, for four gigabyte model, we're going to price it at that same $499. No premium whatsoever. $499. And we're going to have an eight gigabyte model for just $599. So we're going to price it starting at $499. Now, when's it going to be available? We're going to be shipping these in June. Yeah. June. We're announcing it today because with products like this, we got to go and get FCC approval, which takes a few months. And we thought it'd be better if we introduced this rather than ask the FCC introduce, to, to introduce it for us. So here we are, and we're going to be shipping it in June in the US. We're going to Europe, hopefully by the fourth calendar quarter of this year, and Asia in 2008. So June, in just a few months, we'll be shipping in the US. And when we do, our partner is going to be singular. We've chosen singular. They are, they are the best and most popular network in the country. 58 million subscribers. They are number one. And they're going to be our exclusive partner in the US. Now, it's a unique partnership, though. We're not just going to be selling phones and services together. We're going to be doing innovation together. We worked with singular on visual voicemail because it's an innovation that requires both innovation on the phone and in the network. You can't do it in just one place. You have to do it in both places and collaborate. And so visual voicemail is the first fruit of this collaboration, and you will see more. And when we start shipping in June, we'll be selling iPhone through our own stores and through singular stores. And it's my pleasure to introduce the CEO of Singular, Stan Sigmund. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Welcome, that is super. Stan. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Steve and I first met uh, about two years ago in New York City when he shared with me this vision that he had for this product. And we've been working on it for some time and actually entered into a contractual agreement without us ever seeing the device or the phone. And that was because of the confidence that I have in Steve and his leadership team to deliver on the vision that they have. And every time I see this, it's just wow. It's just wow. It's really, really cool. You've exceeded my expectations. <laughs> it's a real honor for Singular to be partnering with Apple today. And I've brought with me another company 
to celebrate in this. And it's a pretty big company. It's the new AT&T. You know, 11 days ago, AT&T became a full part, I mean, Singular became a full part of the new AT&T family. And this new family will help fulfill the vision we have of wireline, wireless, broadband, and video coming together on one device in the ways that customers haven't imagined. Today, Singular and Apple are truly raising the bar. We're announcing a partnership that the mobile phone experience takes the mobile phone experience to a real new level by bringing together the best network with the best device. Networks are the foundation of what Singular and AT&T do. Singular offers the largest digital and voice data network in America today. The Singular network has the fewest drop calls in this country. And AT&T is the largest provider of broadband internet services in this community. When it comes to networks, AT&T wrote the book. Their quality is legendary. Put this network experience that Singular and AT&T have and Apple products together, and what do you get? First, you get the best voice and data services with the best user experience available anywhere. Second, you get real compelling products and services. For example, is the voice, visual voicemail that Steve mentioned, which lets you look at the voice message you want to hear and when you want to hear it. As Steve mentioned, to create the visual voicemail, it took innovation on Singular's part at the network level and by Apple with the device. And I promise you'll see more of that coming down the road. Third, when you buy, combine Singular's 2,100 retail stores and number one wireless online store with Apple's already legendary retail stores and online stores, you've got unmatched distribution. Yes, we're truly pleased to partner with Apple to, to deliver one of the most eagerly awaited wireless products ever, the iPhone that he showed you. With the iPhone, you get a breakthrough wireless experience. And we'll be working shoulder to shoulder with Steve and his team to make sure that the integration of the iPhone and our network is seamless. This is only the beginning. We are just introducing a new product. We are changing the way companies work together. Apple and Singular have a multi-year exclusive partnership. The new iPhone is only available with Singular wireless services. This is not an MVNO. Ours is a unique relationship that lets Apple be Apple and Singular be Singular. Apple has built a device combining the best phone, iPod, and mobile internet experience ever. iPhone owners will be Singular and AT&T customers. Our customers will get the best network and services in the business. People will benefit from the best that companies they already know and trust and what they have to offer. Apple, Singular, and AT&T have come a long ways, and now we're picking up the pace. A little over six years ago, Bell South and AT&T came together to form Singular. Eleven days, Singular joined the new AT&T. Today, Singular and AT&T are working together to provide our customers the most innovative, enjoyable, and reliable service in the industry. I hope you're as excited as we are at what we have to see and enjoy here. This is going to be a terrific ride. Thank you very much, Steve, and congratulations. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.
You know, as Stan said, we started working together about two years ago, and we come from pretty different worlds. The telecommunications industry, the computer industry, and of course music with the iPod. And, uh, and yet we have worked wonderfully together, and we love these guys, and we think it's, we're going to bring some great stuff to market over the years together. So let's take a look at, uh, at this market and how big it is. My clicker's not working. <laughs> oh, there it is. Maybe it is working. So how big is this market? Well, let's take a look. No. All righty. Clicker is not working. All right. They're scrambling backstage right now. You know, when I was in high school, <laughs> Steve Wozniak and I, mostly Steve, uh, made this little device called a TV jammer. And it was, this, it was this little oscillator that would put out frequencies that would screw up the TV. And Woz would have it in his pocket, and we'd go into like a dorm at Berkeley where he was going to school, and a bunch of folks would be watching like Star Trek, and he'd screw up the TV, and somebody would go up to fix it, and, and, it, and just as they had their foot off the ground, he'd turn it back on. <laughs> And if they put their foot back on the ground, he'd, he'd screw up the TV again. And within five minutes, he'd have somebody like this <laughs> for the rest of the Star Trek episode. OK, so maybe it's working now. Maybe they're going to have to click them for me. So game consoles. 26 million game consoles were sold in 2006 worldwide. Actually, a little smaller than you think. It's not such a big market. Digital cameras dwarfed it at 94 million. MP3 players, 135 million and PCs, about 209. Mobile phones, just about a billion last year, worldwide. So what does this tell you? What this tells you is that 1% market share equals 10 million units. This is a giant market. If you just 1% market share, you're going to sell 10 million phones. And this is exactly what we're going to try to do in 2008, our first full year in the market is grab 1% market share and go from there. So we're going to enter a very competitive market, a lot of players. We think we're going to have the best product in the world. And we're going to go for it and see if we can get 1% market share, 10 million units in 2008, and go from there. So today, we've added to the Mac and the iPod. We've added Apple TV and now iPhone. And you know, the Mac is the only one that you really think of as a computer, right? And so we thought about this, and we thought, you know, maybe our name should reflect this a little bit more than it does. So we're announcing today we're dropping the computer from our name. And from this day forward, we're going to be known as Apple Incorporated to reflect the product mix that we have today. You know, I didn't sleep a wink last night. <laughs> and uh, I was so excited about today because we've been so lucky at Apple. We've had some real revolutionary products. The Mac in 1984 is an experience that those of us that were there will never forget. And I don't think the world will forget it either. The iPod in 2001 changed everything about music. And we're going to do it again with the iPhone in 2007. We're very excited about this. And you know, there's an old Wayne Gretzky quote that I love. I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. And we've always tried to do that at Apple since the very, very beginning. And we always will. So thank you very, very much for being a part of this.